You're watching UDJ Year 12, the 2024 announcement video of Ultra Director Jester. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation. And now, please welcome Ultra Director Jester. <clears throat> uh, hey, ready for some video games? What a year 2023 was. One of the best years we've ever had. This year there was, oh, oh God, no, not that, not that. I mean, 2023 for the channel was one of the best we've ever had. <laughs> Look at all the stuff we did. We had a series go on every Saturday for an entire year and it just wrapped yesterday. We ran the race of our lives and powered through an entire Tour de France with Sonic Frontiers. We just hit the milestone of 5,000 subscribers and climbing still. We even had our second annual advent calendar of one-shots, complete with games nobody ever expected. But, now that the calendar has ended, everything is wrapped up nicely, and appropriate epilogues have been posted, it's time to once again look towards the future. Let's move past 2023 and leave a 2020 B, and look at what's in 2020 store for 2024! So, last year I got a little crazy and overzealous with the announcements, and I stitched together a compilation of upcoming trailers as a parody of the compilation from that one Star Fox 64 VHS. Anybody remember that? Anybody at all? The Rumble Pack, Pizza for Bab, Super Mario Electrocution, anyway. The projects I actually were considering, sadly, none of them came to fruition. Things came up, things didn't pan out, other things took more time, certain things weren't right for it, pick your excuse. Maybe someday down the road we'll pick them up, who can say for certain? but I don't want to bite off more than I can chew again. That always seems to happen. So for this year's video, I'm just only announcing projects that I know are set in stone. They're on the schedule, they're actively being worked on as we speak. And so the number of projects I'm announcing is just a measly seven ga- SEVEN GAMES?! Really? Well, uh, yeah. I've got a lot of stuff cooking back here. You would not believe how fucking busy I've been. Now that we've wrapped everything up, the schedule's wide open, ready for new stuff. Tomorrow's a new year, which means we need to fill that week up. So let's hurry up and get to announcing some Let's Plays. Well, we might as well start with the most obvious one, and one I've actually got people asking about. Last year, we began a project that I knew was going to take a good long while. We took a month-long break from that in favor of the advent calendar, so now that that's all finished and we're all refreshed, it's time to start it back up once again. Hey, uh, UDJ, do you smell that? Uh, ooh, ooh, mm, that's, oh, that smells delicious. Yeah. What, is, what is that? Oh, here, have have a taste. It, it's it's so mm. lovely. Mm. Oh, what is that? Oh, I believe it's cheese, Grommy. Hey, sometimes. Uh... <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh! Who, who could have that... called who that? Who could have seen that coming? Someone is hey! stabbing me. Real? Oh my god, look at all that! Elden Ring Season 2, or rather, just the second collection of episodes of Elden Ring. Not much to say, it's just the next leg of the game, and now that we've finally finished getting started, it's time to begin anew! Last time we acquired a great rune, so now the entire game has opened up to us, and we've got a lot of ground to cover, and a lot of cheese to exploit. We'll be starting the adventure once again, with episodes going up Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a mad dash at the capital city. How many episodes will it take us? Hmm... On to the next one. Last year, we finished up Donkey Kong Country 3, completing the Super Nintendo DKC trilogy of games, and to start the year out proper, we're gonna conclude another trilogy, and I think it's obvious which one it has to be. Over the course of 2023, we had also started the Trauma Center games, starting with Second Opinion and then New Blood after that, but it's all been leading up to this last one, trust me. I only did the first two just to show how much better and how much more evolved this third game is. This medical drama video game ramps up the medical and keeps the drama at acceptable levels. It's the best in the series, and I'm so excited to finally talk about it. Put your hands together for...
Metroid Prime 3 Corruption! The third game in the- hey, Wait, that's not Trauma Team. Yep, before we get to Trauma Team, the best Trauma Center game in the entire series, and the whole reason why I even began the Trauma Center projects in the first place, we're gonna wrap up the Metroid Prime Trilogy first. I mean, come on. Might as well start the year off with a Metroid game for the third year in a row now, right? So, to start out 2024 officially, what better way to begin the year on a high note by jumping right into the biggest, most ambitious, and best, question mark, Metroid Prime game yet. Starting tomorrow, Mondays and Wednesdays will be dedicated to Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. It's a little sad. This is the final Metroid game for now. We've played through all the others on this channel. Until a new Metroid game comes out, this is it. I mean, unless we get desperate and want to play Prime Pinball or one of the many ROM hacks or... God help us, a randomizer. Well, no worries, my hope for Metroid Prime 4 isn't squashed yet, and hey, maybe Mercury Steam will surprise us with Metroid 6 or something in the meantime. Oh, and Trauma Team will start after Metroid Prime 3 ends. Okay, next up. Those of you who follow me on the socials might already know about this one. Did you know I have a Twitch account? I know. If you blow off all the dust, it's still there. Last Tuesday, I had a stream, a stream that was meant to be the first in a weekly series. Well, the VODs are almost cooked and ready to be released. So here is the next announcement. I saved you. And I'm here to save you again. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. I'll enjoy watching you try. In mere moments, all that you have dreaded will come to pass. When the screaming stops and your mind is gone, the rest, perhaps, is... Baldur's Gate 3! It's the apparent game of the year when there was at least a dozen games of the year to choose from. It catapulted its way into the cultural zeitgeist, it rocketed its way to the top of the Metacritic charts, and most difficult of all, it wormed its way into my heart. It's pretty damn fantastic. Characters are deep, colorful, and interesting. Storylines are varied and heavily detailed, and the combat is just the kind of strategy RPG that I can let my mind cruise on. Like how one does like a crossword puzzle or a word search. The more I play it, the more I realize why it won Game of the Year. It's a lot of fun, and I had the idea to stream this game, to get me back in the swing of things. I've been wanting to stream more lately anyway, and a game like this, being as deep as it is, I think would be perfect. The adventures of Zelostar, the White Dragon Monk, have already begun. Tune in Tuesdays, typically, for new live episodes, and the VOD will air that next Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Follow on the socials and up on the Discord to keep up with the announcements. Hope to see you at the streams. Okay, four down, three to go. So, last Saturday we saw the wrap-up of 51 Clubhouse Games, a year-long project where Niskel and I would play some tabletop games every week. It was chill, jovial, and exciting at times. But now we need something else to fill its place. What could top that? What game collection has over 51 games in it? The Atari 50? The big world of games? Those bootleg 601 Famicom carts? Well, maybe we should think of something else and not try to pigeonhole ourselves into one specific game collection this time. Maybe not so much a specific game collection and maybe turn our sight to a certain type of game instead. Let's spread our wings a bit. Let's have something new. This is Bargain Bin Lounge. Bargain Bin Lounge is a new series with myself and the Niskel as we dedicate some time going through the cheapest of the cheapest of cheap games. The games that go on sale for 95% off. The quaint little game jams that aren't fully developed for the big times, but good enough to charge money for. The Switch ports that almost work, but usually kinda don't. Yes, starting this week, every Saturday, Niskel and I will be showcasing a new surprise game with just one stipulation. Games that only cost $5 or less. It's a way to squelch your curiosity about the ultra-cheap games you never thought about and never had the time to dedicate to. Maybe we'll find a diamond in the rough amidst all the shovelware. Maybe we'll find the next ship post meme game. Maybe it'll just be 20 minutes of moderate amusement and uninspired gameplay. Who can say? Anything can happen. 
It'll air at the same time Clubhouse Games did, Saturdays at noon Eastern. Our grand opening will be a bit of a softball to get things going. We're going to be featuring Suica Game. Familiar, simple, less than five bucks. Perfect for our first outing and our grand opening. We hope to see you there. All right. Now, let's get fun. Every year, we always have at least one Sonic project going on. Now that Sonic Frontiers is finally put to rest, let's move on to a new project, maybe something a little less, uh, uh, demanding. I've got a ton of ideas still. Would love to do the storybook series at some point soon. Uh, a new 2D Sonic just came out with Sonic Superstars. It's pretty okay. Uh, but then again, there's always the excellent Sonic Mania, maybe even Origins if you wanted. I mean, hey, there's no shortage of Sonic yet, not by a long shot. There is always time for Sonic. But, after some careful consideration, I think I've zeroed in on one particular game I want to do. This has been a very small, loose end that's always bothered me for the past eight or nine years. I think now is the time to put that loose end to rest. Final entry in my Sonic Action Replay series. I've messed with Sonic Adventure 2, Shadow the Hedgehog, and Sonic Heroes with the capabilities of Action Replay, and I'm running out of games to mess with. But we never messed around with the original Sonic Adventure. That was mainly because we did the Dreamcast version of Sonic Adventure, not the enhanced port slash remake for the GameCube. And the idea of Action Replay came well into Sonic Adventure 2's playthrough. But that was all the way back in 2015, almost 10 years ago. But hey. I've been feeling mighty nostalgic lately. It's time to make a revisit to one of the greatest Sonic games of all time, fucking fight me, Sonic Adventure DX, with action replay codes to screw around with. Can't wait to see what kind of mischief we'll get into. Uh, most likely will be a spring fling after Trauma Team ends. Whew, the year's looking pretty stacked as it is. This could last us until July. I could end things right now and call it a night. But I'm not quite finished yet. I got one more project that I want to throw out there. As soon as I saw the trailer for this, I knew that it was going to be on the channel. Because technically, it already was. Super Mario RPG! Wait, what do I call this game? Just Super Mario RPG? Super Mario RPG make for a Switch? Mario RPG 23? Well, either way, we're gonna be hitting up Super Mario RPG this year. We already did the SNES version some years back, but this one has such a fresh new look to it, it's absolutely worth checking out one more time. I always wanted to revisit this one someday, or to show off a few more things, you know, like beating Culex and some other secret bosses, and maybe not try to record most of the entire game in one night. They also added plenty of post-game stuff that we'd remiss not to bring up. So, I'm thinking that once we take another break from Elden Ring, we're gonna jump back into Mario RPG and relive some good times and some fond memories. Huh. <sighs> well, that's gonna do it for me, folks. There's plenty of work to be done. Be sure to follow me on the social medias, come check out our Discord, and tune in on Twitch every Tuesday. I've got to get back to it now, so I'll catch you guys around in 2024. See you on the channel, and have a happy new year! See ya!